Why have we ever wondered? I would like to take advantage of that. We always talk about these negative aliens, but negative aliens, where there is documented evidence, videos, official documents, and now the CIA, just the other day we published the news, has released thousands of desecrated documents that relate to UFO issues, and among which they also talk about this, this particular attention of aliens to nuclear bombs. But in your opinion, what are they? What is it that entices them to be around nuclear bases, missile bases, nuclear power industries, someone who unfortunately can get over this fence, has often said to me, it's because they are interested in this energy, they want to suck it up and use it to make intergalactic trips. Can this statement be commented on? Not at all. One, because I would say populations that have such technology to be able to cross the whole universe and reach us, but what do they care about our nuclear energy? At least if they have it that, that technological power, they will build it by themselves, or else they would have already stolen it from us. I don't think they are wasting their time diffusing the missile just for fun. They know that they are there, that these weapons are very dangerous for them too, because in any case, it's now established that they have bases even on the planets of our solar system. Guys, if the planet Earth explodes, the radiation would reach as far as Mars, Venus. That is, it doesn't end there. We are not so isolated. We are part of a great body, a great body. And we are a cell at the end of this great body. In the end, if my arm blows up, that is, it's not that the rest of my body is happy. It will bleed. I could bleed to death. I can no longer. I am debilitated. I have an handicap that prevents me from doing things. So, for self-preservation, I try not to blow up my arm. And so these conscious and aware beings, because a child, for example, is not aware that if he puts his hand on the bomb, something will blow up. We are even worse because we are also aware and therefore stupid, unfortunately, because whoever sins without awareness is fine, but whoever does it with awareness is stupid or rather insane, because we know and we know the consequences, but we continue to do it, so this is for you. One, that we are the children of the situation, and these highly evolved beings, technologically, but also ethically, and they are showing it to us, and have shown it to us, they are attentive to this energy, and they are making us understand it in every way until they are forced to intervene by taking the toy out of the child's hand and punishing him. Simple. That is, without taking too many mental trips in the end, what we also do with our children. Would you ever put a knife in your child's hands? Guys, this is logic. We don't have to be philosophers about the situation. 